This progressive brain condition currently affects one in nine people over the age of 65, and those numbers are only getting higher. Welcome to Watch Mojo's Top 5 Facts. In today's installment, we're counting down the top five facts about Alzheimer's disease that everyone should know to better understand this growing epidemic. Number five, it's not a natural part of aging. I can't remember appointments, words. Honey, we all have memory lapses. That's a sign of getting older. The other day, I couldn't remember the word, um, <sighs> glucose. It's not like that. Given that Alzheimer's disease primarily affects the aging and elderly, it's all too easy to dismiss it as an unavoidable effect of getting older. When people get old, they forget things, right? One's memory might worsen over time, but with Alzheimer's, the progressive degeneration of the brain is a direct result of plaque and protein buildup, which kills brain cells, leading to eventual shrinking and atrophy in the brain. According to the Alzheimer's Society of Canada, naturally occurring memory loss associated with aging might involve forgetting names of an acquaintance, struggling to find a word, or failing to remember events from years past. But with Alzheimer's, major recent memories can disappear. Family members may not be recognized, and as it worsens, language skills can be lost entirely. Number four, Alzheimer's has a link with Down syndrome. Down syndrome is a developmental disorder resulting from a genetic abnormality, specifically a second 21st chromosome. This particular chromosome carries the APP gene, a gene responsible for producing amyloid precursor protein. This protein clusters in the brain, forming plaque. Given that individuals with Down syndrome have twice the normal genetic material contributing to this buildup, nearly every individual with Down syndrome begins to exhibit Alzheimer's type symptoms by the age of 40. The overlap between Down syndrome and Alzheimer's has helped scientists to develop the ACI24 vaccine. If successful, this drug could significantly improve both the lifespan and the quality of life for humanity at large, but particularly for individuals with Down syndrome or Alzheimer's. Number three, it's the leading killer disease without a cure. Reduced quality of life is often the biggest concern when discussing Alzheimer's. But what many people don't realize is that Alzheimer's does more than affect the memory. It's actually a fatal disease. In fact, it's the sixth leading cause of death in America. Advanced stages of Alzheimer's disease result in a weakened immune system, increased risk of infection and brain clots, respiratory failure, inability to swallow, movement limitations, and more. The disease isn't directly fatal, but its effects on the body nonetheless result in death. While treatments currently exist to slow its progression, among the top leading deadly diseases in the US, it is the only disease without a cure or treatment that could result in improvement or recovery. Number two, it can begin more than a decade before any symptoms show. In order to prolong the lifespan of an individual and maintain the highest quality of life, it's crucial to catch the disease as early as possible. It's highly encouraged by medical professionals to be mindful of your own mental faculties and those of your loved ones. One of the earliest signs of Alzheimer's is difficulty remembering newly learned information. It was the night of the carnival. Noah was there with his friends Finn and Sarah. Noah? But even when caught as early as possible, Alzheimer's has already had plenty of time to take hold of the brain. The disease can only be completely confirmed by examining the brain after death, but medical research to date has shown the abnormal buildup of protein and plaque can seemingly begin more than 10 years before any symptoms make themselves known. Number one, education can lower the risk. Although a cure has yet to be found and definite preventative measures are equally unavailable, studies have shown that education can lower the risk of developing Alzheimer's disease. That's not to say that the highly educated necessarily have a lower chance of developing it, but rather that continued education and exercising of the mental faculties could improve your odds of avoiding the disease. There also seems to be a decrease in the incidence of Alzheimer's among those who not only stay mentally stimulated, but socially active. Essentially, a healthy brain is an active one. A correlation between heart disease and Alzheimer's has also been established, so staying physically active, as well as monitoring blood pressure and cholesterol, are vitally important for its prevention. So, how many of you know someone who has been affected by Alzheimer's disease? For more interesting top 10s and informative top 5s, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. And like any disease, it has a cause, it has a progression, and it could have a cure.